Hi friend, this is Raj Mughal from Learner Purpose. Uh, today I am going to show you a database which I have created uh, for my client. Uh, this database uh, handled uh, production production based uh, payment system. Suppose you have you are a manufacturer uh, and you have labor or employees which are uh, charged uh, production based. Uh, so uh, let's have a look and uh, uh, review the database how it works first we will have to login and here is the login form suppose i will put my credential over here this is the main screen here you can see and here are some basic commands which you can use this is the login system and this is the ex exit application and first thing first uh, we uh, first we will set up our business profile suppose my business name is learn with purpose and so let's restart the application it will update my business name and the address and the contact number which I have provided so let's go to product section let's add a new product suppose I am going to create some product like t-shirt and here you can select the type uh, if in, uh, you can't find uh, the field here you can click on this element and this will open a new form here you can create a new type okay in my case I just select from here and here are the color sections from which you can select your desired color if this is not in the list you can add or delete colors from here okay suppose I select this color and here is the size so you can select the size or you can add or delete the size from here okay you can add other remarks okay I have added a new product and you can search the product from here and you can also scroll the products you can also navigate one product to other and so we have just set our product now it's time to create implies so go to the imply form uh, let's create a new imply suppose I'm going to create a new imply okay so you can add all the detail necessary details Okay, qualification suppose you can write over here <coughs> suppose <coughs> and let's enter date of birth here just uh, dummy data on the base <coughs> of date of birth here uh, age is calculated so you can select whether it's active or inactive imply all the other details and let's have a look at the image just double click this icon this is it will open up uh, this window and I'm going to use some image okay we have added a new we can search all the implies from here we can delete the records and we can save okay now we have created imply and created a new product now it's time to <coughs> set up the rate now click on setup and then rate list here i have given some uh, dummy products and the uh, rates so I'm going to add the, uh, 
I have added this this product and all the things have done now it's time to set the rate if you set the rate over here so per piece, uh, per piece of t-shirt rate is 10 okay <clears throat> now it's time to go for production suppose I am going to add the production and here you will have to select the employee for which you are adding the production here is the remarks section and now you will have to select the product suppose I have protected uh, I have selected the product a uh, the quantity is suppose 10 rate automatically uh, will be uh, retrieved from our rate list now go to the next product which I have manufactured for this imply for today and here selected the t-shirts suppose 100 t-shirts are stitched by today by this imply okay that's it now save the record and if you have other implies you can add one by one all, all the production one by one now <coughs> go to reports suppose we have to pay for the employee for month of uh, December you can view all the uh, production payment report without selecting suppose without selecting I it will show me all the records for the period from 1st December to 31st December and here are the employee ID date employee ID name designation and all the other details long quantity rate and amount and if I want a report for a specific employee I will have to select from here now it will show me the record of date imply only suppose in this case you can see 115 units are manufactured by this imply and we have to pay 1035 to this imply for this period you can select your desired period suppose I want to pay for one week 1st December to uh, 7 of December now have a look there is no production from by this imply during this period now another one yes there is a production by this imply and uh, you can pay to this imply okay there is another simple imply list uh, you can check the active or uh, inactive implies suppose we have eight records in active list now if I change the status to inactive I have one employee in inactive list okay that's it this is a very simple and basic system now it's time to manage the users you can add new user for this database from here you can change you can change the password manage the users from this form okay I hope this small database will be helpful for those who are concerned uh, to this uh, relevant business thanks for watching if you need any custom uh, uh, database for your business you can order us at the given uh, address uh, in the description